Can AI generate a Drupal module that actually works? That's what we're going to talk about. Hi, my name's Rod Martin. This is OS Tips from OS Training. And yep, I'm pretty excited about what's coming with AI and Drupal and all of those kinds of things. So I have a project on the go right now where I needed a couple of custom modules. And I thought, let's see if ChatGPT can do it for me. Let's take a look and see what happened. So this first one is pretty straightforward. You're a senior Drupal developer with five years of Drupal 10 experience. Create a custom module called FPS that allows a user with the role of user or higher to update the default front page without accessing a menu. They should be able to choose from the following options. Dashboard, Dashboard Fall, and Dashboard January. Now, let me give you a little background here. I'm creating a website that's going to kind of act like an application. The person who is going to run the website wants to have three different home pages, depending on what time of year it is. They're tax consultants. They want a normal dashboard most of the time. But come January, they want a certain set of data out of the website to be on the front page of the site. And then come you know, later on in the year, they want a slightly different one. And of course, you can make up as many as you want. So I'm creating these dashboards with Layout Builder and all of the content from their site. But I didn't want to give the end user access to selecting different layouts. So this is actually a pretty simple approach. I'm just going to change the default home page by a menu link. So here's what ChatGPT with the 01 preview version gave me. A module called fps.info.yaml with a routing file, a permissions file, a controller class called front page switcher controller, and a form class called front page switcher form. That's actually a pretty good approach. So here's the .info file, here's the routing.yaml, Here's the permissions.yaml. Here is the switcher controller.php. And again, nothing fancy here. It's just using a simple controller. And then the form itself, which hard codes in those three separate dashboards. So if I add another one, sure, I'll have to update my custom module. Yeah, I probably could have done this a different way, but this isn't hard at all. And then the nice thing I found with this particular version of ChatGPT, down at the bottom, it gives you the module structure summary and the instructions on how to install it, turn it on, and test it. Well, let's take a peek. So I've created a button at the bottom of this page. I'm going to click Select Dashboard. It takes me to that path, and I can select a different front page. If I go back to the home page, well, there it is. There's nothing there, of course. I've not actually built it yet. If I head over to Configuration, System, and Basic Site Settings, you'll see that the front page has been updated to Dashboard Fall. Well, that's pretty good, pretty simple, and honestly, not a very hard module to create at all. What about a, another fairly simple one? Well, in this next example, I wanted to change the page title on any Add Taxonomy Term page. So it doesn't say Add Term. But it says, add, well, the name of the vocabulary. And then actually, in Drupal 7 and 8, you could do this with a hook. Yeah, that hook is no longer available. And so I asked ChatGPT how to do it. So it created for me custom taxonomy title as a module, Drupal 10 and 11. It built this description for me as well. Because the hook was deprecated, it went the route of creating a controller, obviously, a route subscriber.php and a built its own services. So here in the service, it's called custom taxonomy title route subscriber, route subscriber.php. And then in the controller file, it grabs the taxonomy vocabulary and then, of course, does the actual name change itself, which is pretty cool. Now, again, that actually got done in two tries. The first try, Again, use that hook that was deprecated. So it took this approach. And again, pretty straightforward, but it worked really, really well. So if I'm a junior developer, not just in Drupal, but in WordPress, Joomla, anything at this point, I'm getting a little worried because AI 
can actually do a lot of the work that a typical junior developer would be tasked with, especially, for instance, in a Drupal project. These two modules were not that difficult, fairly straightforward, so it's a task that, yeah, typically a junior developer would be assigned with, and the testing and integration, of course, as well. Well, ChatGPT handled it really well. So where does that leave a junior developer? Well, it probably means you need to keep upgrading your skills as fast as you can and keep getting better. Because at the low-hanging fruit end of things, AI is going to do the job for you. Wow. So that pretty much is going to be a wrap-up for our series on AI for now. We'll probably have lots more to talk about because this is just the beginning. Drupal AI itself is getting better and better every day. More and more developers and agencies are building AI tools into Drupal, and boy, it's only going to get better. Well, thanks for joining me today. My name is Rod Martin. This has been OS Tips from OS Training. We teach people how to build Drupal, but not just Drupal, WordPress, Joomla, and other open source projects as well. Head over to ostraining.com for more.